Hi friends, welcome. I have another book review, but before I begin, please read my mug. Remind yourself that you are loved. Today's book review is Nature Anatomy Activities for Kids, Fun Hands-On Learning. Let me read you the back. Think like a scientist, act like an explorer, an illustrated nature guide for kids eight to 12. And again, in my opinion, that's flexible. I'm sure my seven-year-old boy would love doing this as well as my four-year-old daughter. So use your discretion. <laughs> Get ready to explore the sky above you, the ground below you, the water around you, the plants and creatures and different types of ecosystems. This book will help you learn all about the incredible forces and living things that exist in nature. You'll explore 20 topics from layers of the atmosphere to parts of a flower and try out fun activities like creating a mini cloud and raising a tadpole. As you examine the natural world, you'll ask questions, imagine outcomes, test your ideas and write down what you discover, just like real scientists and explorers do. And there are five subjects, 20 lessons. It gives instructions on how to journal like a scientist and it has detailed illustrations. This book was written by Christine Brown. The first section is the big blue sky. In this section, the parts of the atmosphere are covered, the layers of the atmosphere. And did you know? Do you know why the sky is blue? It gives an explanation for that weather, seasons, and storms. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on your perspective, we do get a lot of storms this time of year, so this could be a great time to delve into this topic. Types of clouds. These are fun to learn. My favorite type of cloud is cumulus, the big puffy cotton ball cl clouds that you see frequently in August. What's your favorite? Did you know that the seasons are reversed in the southern and northern hemispheres? I believe most children of 8 to 12 know that. And then that nature journal entry is covered again. Let's go on to the ground beneath us, the second section. In this section, how the world spins is covered, as well as the layers of the earth crust, mantle, outer core, and inner core. Nature journal entry. Gives an idea to create a 3D earth model to make what was learned more tangible for the child. Fun fact, did you know that thousands of earthquakes occur around the world every day? Rocks and minerals. Next section, this section is so fun. Making paint from rocks and clay. So cool, one of my favorite activities in this. Fossils, tells you how to make your own fossil. Super fun. Landforms and landscapes, that is covered as well. Plateau, glacier, sand dunes, the whole gamut. And let me just explain a little bit more about this nature journal entry. It prompts the child with a question. Would you like to be an archeologist and go on digs to explore and discover fossils? Why or why not? Second question. Why do you think it's important that scientists study fossils? So every journal entry has prompts for the child. The water that surrounds us. Water, water everywhere, <laughs> right? <laughs> And that fun nature journal entry. Here are the prompts for this section. Can you think of other ways water is important to us in our earth? How are the bodies of water in your area important to your community? And there are two more questions, two more prompts. Here's an experiment. Fresh water versus salt water. The materials you would need. Clear glasses, 16 ounces of water, table salt, two eggs, and I think they're, they're going to do the good old make an egg float in a glass of water. That's a fun one. And my children and I have done this as well, so fun activity. Water ecosystems, so important for kids to know about. Next section, probably my favorite section, the plants in between. Covers the parts of a tree. Trees and leaves into identification based on leaf shape. Odd leaves versus evergreens. 
simple, good information for everyone to know. Nature journal entry. Here are the prompts. Did you observe any habitats in the trees? What kinds of animals do you think live or did you see living in the trees? So the child was to observe a tree and then record their findings. Next section, wildflowers, which are so prevalent now. It's so awesome. Covers the parts of wildflowers, stigma style, and so forth. It explores different types of wildflowers, chicory, violet, butterfly weed. Ooh, chicory. A la Cafe du Monde, make chicory coffee, right? Echinacea. Flower watercolors. Here's an activity. Time, 10 minutes plus one hour to steep. Category, crafts, indoor observation, materials, variety of colorful flowers, such as purple, red, orange, and yellow. Containers, such as four ounce jelly jars, hot water, lemon juice, baking soda, popsicle sticks, watercolor paper, paintbrush. So this gives instructions on how a child and you can make um, watercolors out of flowers. So freaking fun. More unique plants, mushrooms, moss, lichen. Last section is the creatures in between and this section basically covers the creatures of the earth and in particular that the child might find in their own area such as birds one of my favorite creatures it covers in detail the parts of birds and it explores the types of beaks birds have and what they are used for such as nectar feeding beak of a ruby throated hummingbird. And the last major section, creatures inside and outside your neighborhood, goes into detail about exploring a skunk. Anyway, that's the basic layout of the book and the contents of the book. I thank you for joining me today and I highly recommend that you do explore this book with your child this summer. Hope you ha I hope you and your children have are having a great start to the warm weather. Check back again later, and if you enjoyed my content, please do like, share, or subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Have an awesome day. Bye.